Good, good evening, people. My name is JR and I am the FR Gunner. We've just been watching Burnley play Arsenal, which finished Burnley 0, Arsenal 1. We got the victory. That's two in a row. We move up to 12th in the league. Have we got our Arsenal back? Let's talk. Right, good evening, people. Um, we got the victory. We got the victory. 1 0 to the Arsenal. Um, short performance. What can I say? Well, let's, let's start off with the uh, starting lineup. Um, for me, you know, with party starting, I was confident. Um, I thought we would have a good performance. I liked what I saw in the Norwich match in terms of when he came on after the 60th minute as quick as transition with party. So I was confident with him playing that, that was um, positive for me. Rest of the line starting lineup, I think was really good. I was a bit concerned with the formation. It looked like we were playing a four, one, four, one. So party by himself. Um, that was a bit of a worry for me. Um, it looked like Arteta was going for an all out attack, um, which is good. You know, it shows that he's he's got confidence in his team to to get the goal. I think he really wanted the goals to be quite honest, and and I think that's something that was lacking today. We didn't really um, get clear cut chances. Um, we didn't take our chances. Um, nevertheless, it's a victory, people. And you know, before that, we had lost. Well, we hadn't beaten sorry Burnley in the last three attempts. Arteta certainly had never beaten Burnley. You know, I think it was, yeah, there were, we had drawn two in the last three matches and lost one. So it was good to get the victory. Uh, we knew what to expect, to be quite honest, with with Burnley. You know, the direct football, um, crosses into the box, um, a lot of physicality from Ashley Barnes, from Chris Wood, um, a lot of direct play. And that's exactly what they gave us, to be quite honest. Um, they, you know, those two, Ashley Barnes and Chris Wood, they're, they're a handful, to be quite honest. Um, if I'm honest, uh, let's look at the positives. I do feel that the back line did handle the threat of those two strikers very well. Um, I'm going to start off with Ramsdale in terms of the positives. Um, for me, he dealt with crosses extremely well. Um, his distribution from the back, he gives me so much confidence when he when he plays the ball out, you know. Um, even when it doesn't look like there's a player to play it to, he finds that opportunity to play it to someone. And I like that. He's very vocal. I mean, he still has confidence in his back line. You know, he's always communicating with them. I love that about him. Um, he seems like a, a, a strong character. And I have to say, to be quite honest, I was one of those um, Arsenal fans, you know, those fickle ones. He said, you know, 30 million, 24 million on Ramsdale. What are we doing? Um, to be fair, he's he's really um, shown me that he is a quality player. And I just, I understand why he's in the England fold now, you know. Um, so, yeah, credit to him today. I thought he was really good. That was definitely a positive. Um, I felt we, because of him and because of that back line, we dealt with crosses really well. Um, also as well, the clean sheet, I think that's a, a real positive as well. You know, we've come off, obviously we beat Norwich 1-0, but we've also come off a 5-0 drumming from Man City. We lost to Chelsea and we lost to Brentford as well. So it was always good to get the, the clean sheet today. Um, I thought that was a real positive. I like the, um, telepathy that the back line of Arsenal are building up today are building up for the future. Um, it looks like they, there's clear communication. It looks like they're instilling confidence in each other. Um, so th that's really good. That's a real positive, you know, that, that back line um, look decent, look good. And just to consider as well, you know, the likes of Tamiyasu have really just come in. Um, that's his second match. Um, and boy, we'll, we'll get into it later, but what a great game he had today as well, you know. If I was to um, look at some negatives, I would say that 
it was a lack of clear cut chances that we created for me, which was a, a slight worry. Um, you know, another one nil victory. I was hoping for more, especially with the formation that we put out. It looked very attacking with only party Parte being the only holding midfielder role, you know, no Lokonga next to him, which I expected. So I was a bit, bit disappointed. Um, I didn't think that, I thought the play was slow. I thought we controlled the first half, but we didn't really create anything special. We had that opportunity in the first five minutes where Pepe got the header. Um, really should have done better. Um, Odegaard setting him up. Um, sorry, Tierney setting him up with the cross. But we were, it was a labour, it was quite slow with the build up with the ball. And I was expecting a lot quicker transition by a party. Um, I don't know if he had that um, player next to him to uh, would allow him to kind of release the ball quicker and, and do what Partey does um, because Partey is a force going forward, you know. He's not really that holding midfielder, so to speak. I, I like the side of Partey in terms of the balls he can play through the lines, etc. you know. He, he's a good player at doing that. So it, 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 the, 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 it was slow. It was a, it, I thought the attack was slow. I thought we 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 created very little. Um, I like what Odegaard was doing on that pitch. You know, he was dropping deep, etc., and helping. But in terms of clear cut chances, um, we didn't really create any. And if I'm honest with you, first half I didn't even know Bamian was playing. It was a, another uh, mediocre performance from Bamian. But we get into that when we do the player ratings. Um, if I also I, I would I would say another another negative um, another negative would definitely be the performance of Ben White today. I thought Burnley knew what they did, were doing. I thought they targeted him. Um, I thought they thought you know what we're going to bully someone in that defence and who we're going to bully we're going to belly bully sorry Ben White. They know he's not probably the strongest in the air. I think they tried to take advantage of that. Um, Silly mistake, which nearly led to a penalty as well, which I wasn't happy with at all. Um, that was really poor from Ben White, to be quite honest. Um, and I thought he was the only weak point in our back line. I thought everyone else looked assured, but I thought Ben White was the only person, if they were going to get a goal on opportunity, it would have come by him. And it, it nearly did, to be fair. Um, so that was the, that was another negative that I took away from that match. Um, the chances we did have, we didn't really bury them, but we didn't really have too many clear cut chances. If I'm honest with you, I mean, let's look at the player ratings. Um, I'm going to start off with Ramsdale. For me, it was my man of the match. Um, thought he dealt with crosses very well. Mentioned before his communication, love it. He's really looking like our number one, to be quite honest. Um, said before, if, if Leno, if Leno had started that match, we wouldn't have won. Um, I think that's facts, you know. Um, the distribution as well, he, the way he looks confident with it, playing out with his feet. Um, you can see he's an Arteta player. Um, he's a great signing, to be fair. He done really well today. Really like this um, young man, um, and he's definitely. I can definitely see why he's part of the England fold, um, if I'm honest. So for Ramsdale, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a nine today. I thought he was really good. I thought he was really good. Ben White, um, as I mentioned before, I, I don't think it was a great performance. Um, I think he switched off when he almost gave away the penalty. Almost got our goalkeeper sent off. You know that was that would have been a changing point in that match. Ramsdale sent off. He would have missed the match against um, Tottenham as well. And then they probably would have scored from a penalty as well. So that could have been a catastrophe. Um, so thank God it wasn't. Um, I, but like I mentioned before, he was getting bullied by Ashley Barnes, by the whole Burnley team, Chris Wood, etc. Um, and I didn't really like that. So for me, I'm going to give him a five today. Tomoyasu, Tomoyasu, listen, he's looking like one of the signings of the season so far for Arsenal, you know, I like his, his class. I like his confidence to come to Burnley, um, you know, new country as well, um, to play the ball about the way he does. I mean, in the first half, he played like a, 
35 yard ball. He's, he's a quality ball. He played it up, up, up top. And I just thinking, you know, what a class ball. What, how much confidence do you have to have to play that ball in your second match um, for Arsenal? Um, he was vocal as well. I love that about him. You know, he's not he's not there to be bullied. I couldn't Burnley didn't bully him today. And I like that. I really do like that. Um, so that was a positive. So for me, Tomoyasu, I'm gonna give him an eight today. I, I liked what I saw. And considering it's his second match, he definitely deserves that eight. Um, Gabriel, another short performance. He made some last ditch um tackles as well, um, which were needed. Um, really needed him back. Really great to have him back playing alongside Ben White. I think Ben White needs Gabriel. Um, you know, they complement each other well. Um, I don't think it was Ben White's best performance, but I can see that they're going to build up a telepathy, um, which I'm really liking. Strong at the back, good header in, great tackle, great well-timed tackles. Um, 7.5 today. You know, I'm not going to give him the eight. I'm not going to give him the seven. I think 7.5 is, is fair. Uh, Partey, Partey, I'm going to give uh, seven today. You know, it he, he was, was a decent performance. It, it was a performance of coming back from injury. Um, saw, saw glimpses, especially in the first half of balls being played forward, etc. And was tracking back well with other guards and playing that pivot role well and holding midfield ro well, ro well, holding midfield role well. Um, so yeah, it was a short performance. I'll give him a seven. Um, I don't think it was, there's more, there's a gear that we can get from party that's higher than that. Um, so I think there's more to be expected, um, but a short performance, nevertheless. Um, who else have we got? Odegaard. Odegaard, I thought Odegaard was, um, he had a good match today, to be quite honest. Obviously got the goal after 30 minutes, the, the free kick, quality free kick. What a free kick. Loved it. Um, I mean, I must be, what was it 30, 35 million we paid for that guy? He's looking like a real bargain, a uh, real bargain. Um, I love the way he does the things that Ozil failed to do for us in terms of tracking back. Um, I love that. You know, he likes, to, he can drop deep as well. He can put it, he can put a ball forward. He can find the ball as well. You know, he's not a lazy player. I love that about him. So I'm going to give Odegaard because he got the goal as well. I'm going to give him an eight today. Um, Emil Smith Rowe wasn't one of his best performances. Um, a six today for me. Uh, missed that chance that I'm young laid on to him as well. Yeah, it, you know, a lot of he looked energetic, but there was no real outcome from it, if I'm honest with you. Um, so a six today for me. Saka, probably about the same, if I'm honest with you. You know, he, he hasn't been looked the best since he's come back. But to be fair, that's not necessarily a bad thing. The reason I say that is last season, we really relied on Saka. So it's good to be able to rely on some of the other players, seeing some of the new players that have come through and look a lot more confident. Um, and he's a young player still learning his, his, his graft, you know? So yeah, he's allowed a, um, a bad performance here and there. I don't think it was a bad performance. It just wasn't a great performance. And I thought we missed that cutting edge going forward. And Emil Smith-Rowe and Saka were part of that, to be quite honest. Um, so a six for me for Saka as well. Um, Pepe, Pepe, I liked. He was he was trying to do things. He's trying to make things happy. Pepe is one of them players you're going to either love or hate, so to speak. Um, but I, I didn't think it was a bad performance today. Um he had a good chance, a good header in the first half, first in the first five minutes um, from the cross from Tierney, which I mentioned before, I think he should have took. Uh, I think he put one shot into the side net and it was to the to the right. So it was a difficult shot, to be fair. Um, but he, he, he was he was tracking back, which I like about Pepe. He's got that into his game now. I'm going to give him a seven today. Um, as I mentioned, I think we missed something up front. Um, Aubameyang. Um, I don't know if I did... Um, yeah, but let me do a Bamiyang. A Bamiyang, first half non-existent. Um, second half, I'm making some decent runs, laid on a few players. Um, and yeah, to be quite honest, he didn't really do much. I, I, uh, Bamiyang, I'm, I'm worried about, if I'm honest with you. He doesn't look like he's going to get a goal. I don't see where the goal is coming from. You know, if he's not scoring, he's our main guy to score. Um, and it's not working out for him and he hasn't been working out for a while now. He's trying. I can see that he's not being lazy, but he's just not looking great. Um, so in terms of Aubameyang, um, I'll give him a, a five. 
you know i didn't think it was a great performance today tiani i think i missed him before um it was all right you know he started off energetically i think burnley got a bit more of the match being the home team as well so it, it did leave him to be more back rather than pushing forward um tiani I, I would give him a seven today it was a solid performance it wasn't bad it wasn't great though um i've seen better from tiani um so yeah i think a seven is is fair to be quite honest um so yeah i mean overall a sure performance um from the first 11 um look at some of the, the subs as well you know um Lekonga, you know his job was to kind of shore things up i think he did that to be fair um, didn't really have much time to impress. So I, I will give him a 6, 6.5. 6.5 to be fair. he done what he needed to do. Um, and I like that. Um, Tavares. Tavares is a, he's, he's a madman. I can tell he's a crazy guy, man. Um, you know, he, he's solid. What I like about him, he's strong. Um, didn't really come on for long enough to impact or influence the match. Um, but what I do like about him, he's, 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 he seems like a... I like the fact that we... That back line that we've assembled, apparently I heard a rumour that it's one of the tallest um, um, back lines that we've ever assembled um, overall. Um, so, you know, I like the fact that we all look solid. I think the smallest guy, well, Tierney's 5'10", um, Ben White's six foot. But you've got the likes of Gabriel, um, six, oh, he's 6'3", Pablo Marie, 6'4", you know, um, Tomiyasu, 6'2". So we, we've got a tall, strong back line. Um, so, yeah, Tavares, I liked, he, he looked, he made that run at towards the end, 93rd minute. What I didn't like about that run, it was a strong run. he done very well. And he's got that in his locker. He shot, though. We've got one minute to go. Come on, just play off the other guard. Keep it simple. Let's not lose the ball there because then the ball went straight back up and they had opportunity. Nothing, nothing came of it. But, you know, he's got to learn from that. But he is young, so he will learn, to be fair. Um, Maitland Niles, I thought, you know, not really long for, on for long enough. So I'm not really going to give him a rating, if I'm honest with you. Done what he needed to do to show up the match towards the end. Um, and we'll leave it there. So on overall, an assured performance, you know, um, we got the victory, which is what we needed. It moved up, moved up to 12th position, which is really good. Um, you know, we're getting there. We're getting closer around that top six. And um, we've, we've got Tottenham, um, well, sorry, we've got AFC Wimbledon in the cup first. And then we've got the North London derby. And this is good. I like the fact that we're gaining more confidence before that match. Would I like to see a few more goals, if I'm honest with you? Um, I think that's what we're missing. I believe we will get a few goals against AFC Wimbledon, but I wanted to get some against Burnley today. I think Arteta wanted to get some goals today as well, to be quite honest, in the way that he set up. But you know what? The, the key thing was to get the win. You know, as mentioned before, last three matches, we haven't beaten Burnley. We've done it today, you know, so that's the positive and we can move on from there. Um, people, fellow Gooners, I'm going to leave it there. Next time you can catch me is the AFC Wimbledon match. Until then, I want you to have a good weekend. You can enjoy match of the day as I will be doing. Until then, peace, people. Take care.